hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be creating a flat 2d style earth animation inside of to resolve in the fusion page so to get started i have this image over here of the world map that i got from vemaps.com the first thing that we will do is add in a crop tool to this and then in the inspector we'll select the keep center option let's take a look at this crop node we will increase the x size and the y size till we see the entire map so now our new resolution is this over here let's also add in a dent tool and let's take a look at it we'll set the type to dent 2 and reduce the strength to 0 0.2 after the dent what we are going to do is add in a background to this connect the dent to this background as an effect mask and on the background one over here we can change the color of the land over here so you can pick any color from here and click on ok as you can see the we did lose the map some of the countries over here so let's just bring that back if we add in a transform after the background and change the size let's take a look at it you will actually notice that it will crop up the image like so if we cut this and paste it before the background or after the dent we'll get the image back so let's just reduce that so that it fits within this size and now what we want to do is create a background we will add in a background tool connect that up like so take a look at this merge one hit ctrl t so that this background is in the background so that we can see the map over here and we'll just change the color to any color that you want just go back to this color here maybe let's just change or use a different color here now we want to add in an ellipse mask and we will connect that to this background too let's reduce the size and now i want the contents the map inside this shape over here so let's go to the merge one over here and change the operator to n if that didn't work let's change that to eight op so now we have all the map content inside this shape and let's just animate this so let's go to the very first frame with this transform create a keyframe on center x and y and let's go to the end of our animation and change the position like so so you can animate it in any direction so we have that simple animation over here now the next thing that you want to do is now let's stylize this a bit i'm going to copy these two nodes paste them down below and let's connect that up to this merge take a look at it now on this background over here let's change the color and you pick a lighter shade of this blue color and then i'm going to copy this ellipse and paste it again and on the second ellipse we have the paint mode over here we'll take this to subtract and change the position so we want this in the top left side of the shape let's go to the ellipse and increase the soft edge like so so this will kind of act as a rim light I'm going to copy and paste it down below and connect it up like so and the second um, color it will be a darker shade of that color and we will change the position as well so let's just bring it somewhere over here let's take a look at it so this is how it is going to look and you can definitely change the soft edge over here make it uh, less intense so you have that option over here you can even change the border width as well over here uh, what i also like to do is add some grainy texture to this so i will just add in a film grain do that over here as well in the bottom i'm going to copy this and paste it down below um, and yeah that's pretty much it i like to disable alpha multiply and you can just play around with different settings I think the default values look fine and then in the merge over here I like to play around with different blend modes so maybe use screen or something like that on the second one maybe I'll just use um, dissolve or something like a darken texture um, I think that looks that just looks different now we want to create a background starry background we'll just add in a fast noise connect that up to this merge take a look at it we we'll send this fast noise in the background Control t and then the fast noise we'll go to color and set this to gradient first color we'll just make it blue and make it a bit dark like so and let's just bring it closer to the white color over here 
something like this. Let's go to the noise over here, increase the scale to 100. And then we will just change the detail over here, or maybe change the contrast, brightness, and all that stuff over here. Let's go to the color over here again and just bring it closer to this purple color we have over here. And you can just play around with different settings over here. Maybe let's just reduce the brightness a little bit more. So we have really subtle stars and to animate them just increase the C3 a little bit. So yeah, there we have it. That's how you can create this um, Earth animation inside of the Fusion. Uh, one last step that we can do is connect this to the media out. Uh, you can also add in a stop motion to it so that we have that choppy kind of look choppy animation like so and it really helps with the animations specifically when you have animations like infographics and these stylized animations i think stop motion look gives some really nice results apart from that we can also add in a transform after the merge trio here and we can animate the size so we can add in a bouncing animation and we can do this with anim curves so right click on size modify with anim curves go to modifiers at the top we will set curve to easing and set the out curve to elastic and if you play the animation this is how it's going to look yeah it's kind of uh, you know zoomed in completely uh, but we will go to the modifiers again and reduce the scale and bring it back to a normal size so this is how it is going to look now if you want to speed up the animation over here this elastic bounce animation you can can increase the time scale slider play this again and there you have it if you increase it more let's make it two it will be much faster something like this So yeah, there you have it. That's how easy it is to create this sort of animation inside of DaVinci Resolve in the Fusion page. So I hope this video is helpful. Uh, I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.